we good? This is the island of Antigua. It's been home for the last few days. We are here off of the east coast at a small anchorage by Green Island. We enjoy another few days here on Antigua before heading off on our first leg to Barbuda. It's not a long sail, maybe 10 hours, something along those lines. If we take it slow and enjoy ourselves. There's not expected to be much wind, so we might be motor sailing, but that's all right. Um, it's nice and mellow. We've had a magical time here at Green Island. It was just a brief visit, but it was really, really nice. The beaches are accessible and it's quite good for kite surfing through here. It's really safe, consistent winds. And we enjoyed some snorkeling uh, as well here, especially outside of this little harbor and along what's kind of like a barrier reef there. Green Island, awesome. We're gonna head back now to English Harbor or Falmouth, I'm not sure exactly which. We shall see when we get closer. And that's uh, just here on the more southern side of the island. You ready? Ready to go. Do it. Just gonna prep to leave our anchorage. Our beautiful home here off Green Island. Little bit cloudy today. Slightly overcast, very light winds. So our sail will be very chill, I think. I seem to hit on the way out. The draft five. is what? 2.5 meters. meters. Yeah. To be safe. It's more probably than what? 2.3 but 2.5 well, We do have meters. our track line from coming we do, in. Yeah. yeah, the only thing to miss is that middle reef. Yeah. Which is that guy in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Off we go. Oh, yeah, my glasses. Tiny delay. <laughs> Just rinse off the salt. Were they already sinking? Only ones I've got. <sighs> A little wet. So I was the worst possible assistant. Woo! The one that makes things not work gets in the way. That would be me. Nothing like starting your day off with a little swim. And I got the glasses. Back in action. Pep, pep, hurrah! And we're doing like yeah, eight point seven knots over ground, uh, keeping an eye on your engine temperature. RPM, oil pressure, uh, oil pressure gets to about 64, 65 when we get up to about 3,200 RPM uh, litres per hour and then engine temp. So engine temp is going to be like 84, 85 maximum and your oil temperature. So that's about how we'd cruise. If you've got any alarms, the, alarm, the alarms come up on this little screen in here which and when you're underway as well on the passage, every so often, if we're motoring a long way, we just want to change the RPM just slight, ever so slightly, so it's not staying on the exact same RPM. Prior page across here. Your time. The White House. A big one, I just saw his dorsal fin. I take it so personally when they show up and then they don't stick around. We'll go fuel up tomorrow and then reprovision and then head to uh, Barbuda. The shopping and all the fueling up tomorrow and then we'll leave the next perfect. day. That so we awesome. get there nice and early. Yeah. And then, we'll, then we're off. Yes. That's where we anchored a few months ago with the Starship and met Delos. They were anchored just in front of us. We will be a little bit of a stretch. We've just uh, dropped the anchor in 10 meters of water. We put out probably 60 
55 or 60 meters of chain. And now we're ready to eat. Ooh, smells good. Lunchtime, rotis. Right, how can I help? Um, I'll get the plates. Rotate. We have one extra one here if somebody's extra hungry. <laughs> I have pulled one in. Wise, very pulled wise. Pulled one more out of the freezer just in case. You are a smarty smart pants. Mm. Would you like to have a large main course fork or a small fork? Uh, I'll go for small fork. You will? Okay, well then we're all gonna, we're all gonna eat with small forks today. Middle ones. Small forks. Big appetites. So dos mas. A couple of extras. We're ready to eat. Fuel dock bound. Which line do you want me to manage? Uh, you can get the stern line. You got it. Yes. Stern line. There it is. Ready to go. Keep a couple of wraps in your left hand. Throw the rest with your right. Then if you do miss, you can just grab it again. Because I have thrown them and the whole line's gone in the water before. All right, the countdown is on. We are just hours away from departing on our first leg to Barbuda. And it's only a few hours to Barbuda, so we don't have to worry too much. It's just gonna be a perfect sail. We do, however, wanna make sure we get provisions to last us beyond Barbuda because we're not confident that we can do major shopping there or in Bermuda. Those are all our bags, reusable bags for our provisioning run. And then it'll be a while offshore before we get to Newport. We've just filled it up with diesel water. So countdown is on. Let's do this. It's so surreal to be here right now because it's completely empty. Last time Starship was in this harbor, we were anchored right behind Delos. This is where we met them. And next to Crean and two dogs on a cat. Scat was over there. They were having regattas and there's all these like 100 plus foot gorgeous sailing vessels. And this whole dock system here was like closed to the people that aren't on super yachts. You had to be somebody special to be out here. Now there's not one single boat here, not one single boat. And it was a very different place back then. I kind of like it now though, actually. I kind of like it now. Thank you. Thank you. Two or five. I was up early, I'm going to the beach. Oh, that's a good idea. How nice. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Right up. Amazing. Some medicine as for the end, even though you know well. well Are you a gardener? Most of the time. I don't mind doing a bit, yeah. You got everything you needed? Yes, in the bag. We've just got a few bits and bobs. Got some beautiful fresh beans there. But I think everybody has wanted them today. Oh yeah. So not many left. Beautiful fresh food here though. I know, I keep on wanting, I'm like refraining from eating one right now. I'm like, pop one in my mouth. What'd you get? Uh, passion fruit and lime. Lemonade, like lemonade, actually lemonade. Very nice. That sounds nice. Oh. Okay. Great wine. I'll tell you what, the hot sauce, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All happy. Thank you. <laughs> Time to go. All right. Bonitoed. Well done. That didn't take too long, only the whole day. And I can't open this because 
lots of stuff with bags. It'll probably drop everything. A lot of food, right? <laughs> She's amazing, incredibly and awesome. <laughs> we got it all put away, hooray! Pre-departure, last minute snack prep. What do you think that's gonna be? A big dollop. A big dollop of olive oil. Be sure to strain the chickpeas. And then add warm water, tahini, cumin, chickpeas, Season it with salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of chili powder, paprika, and then you can add like artichoke hearts and all that. Yeah. They always think like cooking on a boat is like so insane. But it's actually not, it's just. It just takes longer than if you're in a standing still gal uh, kitchen, but it's pretty much the same thing. You've got all the same amenities, and you just get a bit more, more creative. We are just about set for our departure. Bermuda, here we come. And then Bermuda, Bermuda shorts, well, bam. I'm gonna get some of those. I'm not sure what they are, but I'm gonna find them, promise. So far, this has just been an amazing trip. I feel very lucky to be here. Yay. We've got a fish. Fish of the trip. Woo! We're, We're gonna, gonna swim, swim to the beach. Yes, we are. Oh, right, there's a camera there. <laughs>